Oh, oh, I didn't even realize. Poor Belly. Anyway, game one, winners finals here. And Pelly is gonna immediately go for this very slow paced gameplay. Emas, quite an aggressive player, so I mean, I don't know aggressive. He, he dances around you a lot, but as soon as he gets a hit, he goes crazy. <laughs> They're just dancing around, no one wants to hit anyone. There we go, Pelly gets the first real opening. I'm the second. I don't know if these guys have played each other yet, you know. Uh, actually, maybe they played each other with secondaries at the last MD. But this is the real deal this time. He must have so close to landing that down there. I respect it. See, if you get the stock at 52, that's crazy. But never mind, you're dying off the side of town and city very early. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah, 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 swap tags. Why did they stand the other way around? Why would they do this to me? Yeah, I guess with especially body got Arsene, you want to make the most of it and actually really approach. But, uh, Peli, he's so good at recognizing when you want to approach and just baiting out aggressive options. Wow, just catching neutral girl with S smash. Crazy timing. Yeah, that's just the mobility of Joker. He's weaving around. Still, 92. Oh, okay. We're going high. You're not going to kill off the top as Joker on Tunnel City, though. Yeah. That was a really nice call out. Penny just waited after getting involved to stay and knew that Emas would go high and then pulled out his guns. Emas is using down guns a lot and Penny's mostly punishing it, which is quite impressive. But Emas uh, managed to get to Arsene here before dying. That could be kind of crazy. Well, maybe it's not even going to need it. Dash tag. Made it to Arsene and fell out of dash back. That's unfortunate. That might have killed, to be honest. Penny overcommits for a grab, but do you overcommit versus Arsene and you die? As simple as that. But yeah, forward out of is so damn good. Wow, was that Side B unsafe? I guess maybe versus Sonic. I don't know how many other characters would have punished that. Or that Side B is just lagging on her at all. He must be making really good use of the platforms just to avoid Sonic. It's, it's always a pretty good option in neutral just to kind of chill out on the platforms and not have to deal with Spin Dash. Saibi sets an advantage state for Emas. This is where he gets really good combos being set. Penny comes out with the advantage. Not going to find the kill though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what happened there. Penny didn't even release the down B, so I don't know why it went. And it, I, I don't know. I can't explain that. It must have clanked on something. I, I don't know if there's hitboxes while he's charging. Oh, such a clutch spring there for Penny. Anyone can take this first game though. Ooh, how has no one got hit yet? Emas dancing like they're so happy to just play half the stage away from each other. No one wants to commit. But when it is someone committing, it's usually Emas. Petty's kind of doing these half baits, waiting for Emas to approach. He knows that Emas is eventually going to pull the trigger. Or maybe not. Petty's now the one getting a bit restless. But no one's got hit in like the last minute. Somehow, I 
I mean, it seems to have frustrated Pelia. I think Evas was actually winning that war of attrition. Doesn't land the two frame. That's what you really want versus Larsen. And now this is spooky. Heavy whiffs and grab yet again. Oh! Unfortunate there for Emas. Not so respecting his match. Stage is missing to go for the Gimp on stage and get the reversal. Yeah, Gimping Sonic's not an easy task. I know Emas really loves his edge guards, but uh, yeah, made me chill on that one. I'm sure he'll prove us rock in the next one and find a forward error or something. Much more of the same neutral. Uh, with Emash just camping out with guns. It's actually really Emash the ones that, that's camping. It's quite funny. Because Sonic's, Sonic's only approach really is side B. And like, if, if you're stopping them from doing that, then there's not much they can do about it. So far, yeah, just no one getting the big hit, but uh, the, the side B damage over time, putting Penny all the way up to 37. Goes a little bit too far forward with that gun this time, and Sonic Emas is the one losing. Very, very close situation. Get the attack, Penny. Yeah, especially for a player like Penny, it just kind of didn't seem necessary in that situation. Yeah, I mean, he uses a lot of different movement for sure. He makes the most. Oh, lingering for too long. And now Emas is going to try and hold on to this air arsen for dear life. How much will it last? Looking like not very much. Is Pelly going to get the edge guard? Ooh, nice tricky recovery coming out from Emas. He has lost arsen, but he's still going to stop, so I think you take that. Ooh, just about makes it back. That was really the limit in the tether. Oh, that time he's... Oh, he kept his jump. Never mind. I thought he'd already burned his jump. Emas still living. And in this matchup, when Emas doesn't have our serve, Tether, you use the active sprint to stop the tempo to edge. Emas gets off that back on that time. Yeah, Penny's calling them out so hard. But that's the thing with Joker, like sometimes you can get into a really bad habit of abusing down guns because a lot of players aren't just aren't very good versus it. Then when you run into a player who is good, then Penny just eats you alive. Already taking the lead back. That's unfortunate for Emas. Like, I guess Sonic's small frame. Oh, but that time, not dead. Choose the backer instead. Never mind. You are deleted. Where are you going? Emas just. Got Arsene and ate up Penny for breakfast. <laughs> wait, wait, chat, can you hear Maso? Oh, that is tragic, if it is. Maso's been sat next to me for a good 15 minutes. It's fine, look, that one. I did say... Headset, and I said, well, when he put it on, I was like, Are you sure that's the right headset? And he was he was confident that it was. He even like looked at OBS and saw it working. Penny's just died in the background, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, poor Massa. He was chatting away. He was having a good time. He just had the wrong headset on the whole time. I thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. <laughs> Massa has left the building. Crying. 
Anyway, uh, it looked like Emas kind of suddenly just took control of that game. That's the thing, Emas is just so explosive. So explosive. Are you coming back? Right, if I pass you this one. Test? Test. <laughs> right, how are we doing, Maso? Since the stream hasn't heard anything from you until now. I think it's a testament to the stream for your commentary that the stream was only listening to half of it and we still carry it. Also, chat, can we definitely hear both commentators this time? I'm pretty sure we can based on OBS. Well. Anyway, winners finals. You best have to ledge. Two favorites in that time. Yeah, Penny's not been landing any of those two frames on Arsenal up B. Oh, he's so patient wasting around those guns. <laughs> Such a funny little situation. No one can really do anything whilst Joker's come into the guns there. Ooh, he went for that in game two, I want to say, and landed it, but not this time. Does he have a jump? I'm not sure. Okay, well, never mind. He is dead. Barely recognizing that Emas's line of encroachment is really fun in this game. Hit by the fur. Gets the stop on the bit. Oh, so about to come online. Awesome. But yeah, I mean, Pelly's just going to play the super patient. He's got a pretty sizable lead, but to be fair, that's kind of what happened in game two, and then Emas just kind of got a bit of a comeback. Emas leading for the ledge trump there. Pelly gets a ledge quickly enough. Oh, Emas so close to landing that, and that is Arsene gone. That's actually a really big deal. Emas is starting to be trillier dodge now. Not confident that the down guns are going to work for him. Unfortunately, Emas like just not getting quite the right hits of up air there to uh, combo into up smash. I think he just slightly drifted too far right, and he just can't find the kill. This is very similar to that Bowlby game, where it looked even, but Pelly found the kill and then just played evasive and didn't die. They're not getting the grab on the dog in there. See, that's a whole stock down now. Ooh, a huge jump call out. Arsene's all the way back. And he's still not landing those two frames. That's unfortunate. Might have been a shield poke, or maybe he tried to roll or something. That shield was pretty tiny by the end of it. Yeah, and Emas is now taking the conservative option with the neutral air dodge with Penny approaches him in the air. And that's our set time down. That's a double neutral air dodge from this down on that time. Penny with a very big stop advantage now. And he just doesn't want to get hit. I mean. Is he already playing this for a timeout, do you reckon? Uh, I mean, now that he's got the kill, probably not. The thing is, guys, it's hard to tell when he's playing for the timeout or he's just playing not to get hit. And I think, yeah, that's one of Penny's very good skills as a player, is just not getting hit when he doesn't want to get hit. Is that? That's good. Emas gets the same plan that time, though. I think Penny's recognizing with a whole stock ahead, Penny doesn't have to push the advantage too hard. But it's Emas who may have to risk an overextension. Get back into the game. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, Arsene. Arsene. Emash just wants to approach because he's behind, and that's exactly what Pelly wants. You've got to be so careful when you're behind versus Pelly. It's the worst situation to be in. <laughs> Look at him. He just retreat all the way to the ledge and all the way to the other ledge. Catches him once, needs to catch him again. <gasps> Down smash catching jump, it looked like. Emas back in this game. It looked like he was kind of down and out. But that's the power of Arsene. That's the power of uh, just kind of going for the smash attack sometimes. Not afraid to let it rip. Pelly Lexus is going high to avoid the disadvantage of edge. Pelly facing up that time, not going beyond Emas, who's looking for the out shield. Oh, he's rolled into Emas. He's got no jump, but he's. Whoa, crazy okay. situation. Reese, the tech option.
game is still down here a bit while well, we're going to play through session. All the invincibility on the side B getting through that. That's 11%. Well, he may have to hit. Oh, there, there's the R set. Okay, ooh, just clipped by the neutral there. Heli comes back with the border. Kind of really scrappy situation right now. No one's landing any clean combos. <gasps> back the against Heli on stage, scary stuff. Wait, what's happened there? Good tech, but he's uh, gone for the early upbeat. Somehow weaves around the F-Tool. Imas using a mix-up on the fastball timing. And that's what's going on. But Imas yeah. can definitely get confirmed into a kill here. Both of these games are blasted situation for this third game. They won't want to go down in the best of five set like this. It's unfortunate for both players at the same time. Emas got the parry, Peli only got one hit of up air. That was weird, weird stuff. No one's able to just land a clean hit. I think Peli legitimately might be over the timeout at this point. Very, very patient stuff from Peli, forcing the overextension from Emas. Peli retreats a ledge every time. The dash tag is so crucial. Oh, he overcommits. Peli's got ledge now. Pitch for the back here. The time is definitely on these players' minds now. We're How has no one got hit? Peli just about... Oh! Emax, I think, jumped up in his chair when he did that up smash. He's landing so many parries, but not getting anything off it. There's only 20 seconds left. Peli is, is definitely going for timeout now. Why not? Look How can you even catch him? Emas has got to land the smash now. He's zooming though. Is Emas going to catch him? Is Emas going to catch him? Pelly's gone too below a bit too early. Maybe he's going <gasps> to give Emas a ledge trap. Oh, that's going to be it. What a oh time God. out. Third game is Pelly. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Peli, I won't, don't want to say he almost threw, but there were a couple of situations where Emas was so, so close to landing a, a killing blow. Actually, the same matchup. Ready for another 15 minutes of the set? I am. That's the SPF. All right. I mean, yeah, both these players playing to win. And don't get me wrong, this is not just Peli. Emas is camping the shit out of Peli as well. <laughs> <laughs> both players are camping super hard. I mean, look at this. Look at this gun pressure. What, like, what does Sonic do about that apart from just sit there? <gasps> Emas, maybe not ready for the ledge drop conversion that time. getting into a good rhythm of landing some shield pressure on Pelly. But Pelly creates enough space to get the spin dash off, and now it's 54 to 59. It's, it's the moment when Emas has Arsene that are like the most important in the set. How that homing attack make it all the way over back to center stage. Like if Emas closes out stock like he does just there, it completely changes the momentum of the set. I think Emas recognizing, especially when he has our set, when Penny will retreat and start a spin dash. Emas is looking for the space to get that Eha or Aegon version. <laughs> yeah, whatever it's called. Cool. Uh, I don't play Persona 5, I'm not cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I don't, don't like that. Emas throwing out so many moves and none of them are even close to hitting Penny right now, but I guess you can kind of afford to do that when you're in the lead. Pressing so many buttons, <laughs> but it's actually really catching Peli off guard. He's just started mashing a little bit, and uh, sometimes you gotta pit switch up the pace. We thought the campy playstyle was best, but maybe Emas. Wow, back air off ledge. Emas not ready for that one. How did Peli get the turnaround off the ledge? Was it instant wall jump? I think that's a thing that some characters can do. Otherwise. Or it must be a cancel out of the spin dash. Instant spin dash the other way. But that's a good point. That's definitely some Sonic tech. Of some kind. And Pelly's managed to recruit a lead now. He must caught landing with some airs. 
but there it is again. He has ready to throw out the Aegon. Oh, look for the chop. Oh, he's re grabbed. Helly misses the F smash, goes all the way over the top of Emas. Slightly unfortunate. And Helly's with punishing these landings now. Spring again, yeah. I don't think the spring has gimped what. Oh no! He dropped shield too early! That is painful. And it doesn't look like game four is going to go to a timeout. And there's Ooh, the interruption. Finally! He's been going for that all set. Finally lands it. It's when these characters go low that the person who has the advantage on ledge can really force a bad recovery. The one time he must slow down, and Penny just spins straight at him. There's, there's our side. Oh, Penny is stuck back to weaving around. Oh, so close. He must almost got a back air there, but instead, Penny is the one with the advantage. Oh, nothing's connecting for either player. He must suddenly really wants to land a hit. He knows his arsenal's about to run out, and I think that's why. Wow, that back air here—that's so illegal. Penny elects to go high, not really willing to risk the Arsene edge guard. And that's Pelly with 40% lead, no Arsene to deal with. I yeah, that's, like that's the thing, the Arsene is the one that like can make the, the big difference and like get the quick kills. He kind of has to do it the, the honest way. He must catch a landing, and now Pelly has to go low, barely slips by. Tricky That's recovery. Emas gets Pelly on stage. What's the ledge trap? Pelly able to jump out. Pelly awake that time. Pelly's been caught a couple of times hanging onto the ledge too long, and Emas has got the aerial ready to hit him off of it. Back air to catch landing though. Pelly goes low again. Yeah, this time catching the jump. Will Pelly go for a jump one more time? He does. Got well, goes for a forward air off ledge. Catch Emas a little bit less aggressive. Oh, so many rolls coming out. Pelly chooses to eventually release that. And Emas landing a forward air. So close to landing a back air. Good oh, delay. down air does not send the right way because he was facing the wrong way. Arsene. Arsene's back. Yeah. Okay. Pelly really needs to land this two frame. Emas able to go high enough that it's not really an issue. Not an quite dodge. dead. He's going low. Still not getting the two frame though. <gasps> oh, oh less than ideal the eye.